In our previous walkthrough, we were looking at doing data cleanup. And we got to the point where we had all of our camera data and in the proper format and essentially it's ready to be used. And what I want to do in this portion of the walkthrough is I want to focus on filling out a basic layout for our application. So we're going to do a bunch of CSS, which means that we're going to need to make changes to how our main uh, index.html is structured and also we're going to want to add some styles. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a new file styles.css which is where we're going to put all of the CSS for uh, our page and I need to load that in. So we're going to have to add a line to the head. We're going to have to link our link is going to be for styles.css and it's going to be the relationship is going to be that this is a style sheet. The href is equal to our styles.css file and the type of this file is equal to text CSS. So at this point, if we check our network over here, we can see that our web page is loading, localhost, uh, this is the web page loading, and you can see that styles.css is being loaded along with our traffic camera data, etc. but we're not currently making use of it. All right, so we need to fix that. So right now, what we have in our page is we have the body, and the body has an h1 element in it, and that's about it. So the style that I want to use for this app is pretty common. I have a little diagram here. I want to do a layout where I have a header across the top and I want it to be 100% of the width of the, of the page. And I want to then take the rest of the space. I'm not going to bother with a footer on this. I want to just extend B1 and A. I want to have them go all the way down to the bottom. And I want the full screen to be available for a menu on the left where I'll have all of my cameras that I can click on. And over here on the right, I want to have a map and be able to see the images, etc. So this is the general layout that we're going to work with. And to do this layout, I'm going to be working with Flexbox in CSS as a as a way to do the, the large blocks of, of the layout. So currently we have, uh, we just have this H1 inside of our body and we need to fix that. So what I'm going to do in order to make this work is I'm going to, first of all, break my app up so that I, I want to think about everything being inside the body and I want the body to be broken into two parts. I want a header part and I want the rest of the app. So what I'm going to have to do to make that possible is I'm going to have to have I'm going to create a I'm going to create an element, a header element and I'll move my title my h1 title inside the header. And below that I'm going to make a div and I'm going to give my div an ID, I'll call it app. This is going to be my main app. And this is where I'm going to put all of the um, the content that I'm going to be uh, creating inside my app. And what I want it to be is I want it to be two things. I want to have a set of links on the left and I want to have the main part of my app on the right. So I'm going to I'm going to say that in here. I'm going to say that this part here is going to be my nav and I'll just say that this is the menu nav. And I'm also going to have my main section like so. So I'll save this and let's take a look at what we have. So by default, what we're going to get is we're going to get our header up across the top here. Below the header, we're going to have our app. And you're going to see inside there is our menu and our main. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work on this layout. I want to get everything so it's filled out. And one of the things that will make this a bit easier is I'm going to put some colors behind things so that I can see what's going on. So in our style sheet, I want to specify uh, some colors for various things. So I'm interested in um, setting a color for the header. And I'll do a background color of red. And I'm interested in setting a color for the nav where my links will go and I'll set a background color of sky blue, light blue. 
and I'll do the same thing for my main background color and I'll make that one green this is where the map and the images and so on will go and I'll save this now you can see a little bit easier when we're trying to lay this out and style it you can see what's going on here with um, where everything is so you can see that by default what's happened is I have three elements that are taking up space and you can see that each one of them automatically has a width of 100%. It's going over to the far right hand side, almost to the edge. So you can see that there's this extra white space around the edge here. So why don't we start by getting rid of that extra white space. So let's figure out what's causing that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my dev tools. And let's see where, so we have our header, we have the body, and you can see, okay, so the body itself has extra margin. You can see down here in my dev tools there's eight pixels on the top, on the bottom, on the left, and on the right. So the browser has added an additional set of um, uh, of space, this margin. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to specify that I want to have all of my topmost elements, my HTML and my body elements, I want them to have a margin of zero. And I'm not going to put pixels or EM. When I say zero, I'm just going to say zero because zero is the same for all unit types. I'm going to save that. And you'll see that everything gets pushed. Everything gets pushed out, right? Like so, out to the edges. So now I've gotten rid of that line that was around, around the size of those. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to make use of all this extra space down here. So by default, all of my elements are going to be exactly as high as they need to be in order to show the content of what's in the element. So you can see that each one of these things is only as big as it needs to be. If I were to go, for example, into my nav, and if I were to add some more content, so I could have um, a name, and I'll just do some um, I'll put a bunch of content in here. You'll see that that expands. And so this area is going to get as big as it needs to be in order to show the, the content that's there. So what I really want is I want my body to be stretched out so that it's the full possible width of what's going on here. So in my style sheet, I'm going to say to for the HTML in the body, I want the height to be equal to 100%. However, I also don't want the height to go higher than that. So I'm going to set a max height on that because I want this to not scroll. So I want to have an experience where you could scroll the left-hand side. So maybe we make this area scrollable, but I don't want the whole thing to scroll. I want it to stay fixed. So I want it to feel more like an application and less like a long document. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some changes for the structure of this. So I have the body. The body contains all of my other elements. And then in the body, I have two elements. I have a header and I have my app. So those are the two things that I have to worry about right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify some aspects for how I want the body to work. So I'm going to say, first of all, that I want the body to use flex box. I want to use display flex. Whoops, that's a typo. Display flex to show all of the elements inside of uh, the body. And once I've done that, because there's only two elements in here, there's the header and the and there's this app div. Uh, what I can do is I can specify that the header and this app div, I can, I can say, here's how much space I want each one of you to take. So the way that Flexbox works is it will allocate space in a flexible way. It'll take the empty space that's available and it'll split it up however you tell it to, to do it. So for example, I could say, I want the header to take one unit of the flexible space. And maybe I want the um, app to take nine units. In other words, let's imagine that between these, there's 10 possible units of space. And I want one of them for 
the header and, and nine of them for the app. So when I do this right now, you can see that what it's done is it's, it's done a layout, but it's not done it in the direction that I want it to go in. So this header is now going down and um, it's going across. So what I want to do is I want to flip the direction that it's doing this flexing. So I want to tell it to flex in a different direction. Instead of flexing in row direction, I want it to, I want it to flex in column, column direction like so. So I want to have this at the top and I want to have the app go below it and take up more of the space down below. All right. So let's 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 go a bit further. So now I want to take this app and the app is another box. So just like we did with the body, I'm now going to focus on what happens inside of this app div. And what I want to do in here is I want to I want to create this portion of the layout. I want to, instead of flexing down in a column wise way, I want to do row flexing across with the available space that's inside of this div. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify that I want this app to use Flexbox as well. So I'm going to say that I want to display the contents of this container, this app div. I want to use Flex to display them. And that's going to allow me to then specify how much do I flex each one of these. So I might say, for example, I want to flex the nav portion of this one unit, and I want to do this three units. So let's imagine this is four units, and I'm doing one, right? So I'm going to split that. I'm going to split that up. So let's try this. Flex three. That looks, that looks exactly like what I want. Now we can play around with this number. So if I said five, for example, here, one and five, I'm gonna say, take this available space and I wanna do a flexible amount of room between them such that I have one unit of flex for this and five for the other. And you'll see that what happens now is this gets narrower. And the way that Flexbox works, if I drag this, you'll see that the, the sizes change, but the ratio you can see that the ratio stays the same. So I'm going to I'm going to have the same ratio when I'm going back and forth this 1 to 5, 1 to 6, 1 to 4, whatever it might be. So let's go back. Let's try 3 because some of my street names are quite long. So that looks that looks good. So I have a header at, across the top. I'm flexing down. I have one two columns and then I'm going across in order to set up. I'm doing this row across to create the rest of my app header, nav, and main. All right, this is getting this is getting good. So now let's simulate what's going to happen inside of my nav. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of streets, hundreds of these intersections. So let's put in a whole bunch of these streets and I'll save this. Okay, so now you can see we have a problem. You can see that what's happening is it's scrolling my entire body, the whole body of my layout is scrolling and that's not what I want. What I want to do is I want to make just this side over here, just the menu side to scroll. So I have to tell in my CSS, I have to make some changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want any overflow on the body, on the, the topmost element. So all the way up at the top here, if there's anything that needs to scroll, I want to cut it off. I want to hide it. So I don't want scroll bars all the way up at the top. So I'm going to say that I have body overflow and this overflow is going to be hidden like so. So that's better, but it's now it's broken because I can't scroll at all. So I've got lots more content on this side here, but I can't get to it because the body is not allowing me to scroll. It's just hiding as opposed to if I set this to auto, the browser would decide, oh, you have longer content than I can display. I'm going to automatically display a scroll bar when necessary. But we're doing hidden for now. Okay, so let's keep going and figure this out. So we have to specify for our app. So for this portion of our app, I do want it to be able to scroll. So I want it to be able to scroll overflow 
in the Y direction, in the Y axis. Overflow Y, I'm going to turn on Auto. And I'm going to do the same for my nav because that's where I actually want Overflow Y Auto. So now I've got a nice layout. I've got here on the left hand side I have a menu that scrolls through and I have a I have a flexible container layout that's going to work at all sizes which is really nice I'm not using any fixed pixel sizes I'm not saying make this 300 pixels and this 800 pixels because on different devices that won't work this can scroll and it can get as long as I want it to but this is going to stay fixed and my header is going to stay fixed across the top so this is this is a good starting point for us to be able to build out uh, the next component that we need to do and that is we need to make all of our streets we need to do menus over here and that's what we'll focus on in the next segment.